Hello everyone, this is team Eat Dragons and uh, we have built this decentralized storage marketplace on FPM called eStore. So as we were ideating to build a project on uh, ETH for all, we came to know that, that uh, in order to interact with Filecoin's network so as to store file and retrieve file back, one has to do too, too much lengthy tasks. For example, say one has to own a Lotus Light node and then he has to interact with too many PCIDs, general CIDs, his size, so as to put his file on FBM in a newly made hyperspace network. In mainnet there are options but in newly made hyperspace network there were not many options available. And Dragons, we have built a decentralized storage market called East Filecoin's virtual machine. So <coughs> what uh, while uh, we were ideas stumbling what to build on uh, ETH for all, so came to know that uh, in Filecoin, uh, 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 Filecoin has launched its uh, network called Hyperspace, and uh, there was uh, no way that um, user for a uh, user can put their file on that network on that network or retrieve the file from that network through front end. So every uh, if anyone wants to interact with the network, he may have to ha own a, at least a Lotus Light node. And uh, owning a Lotus node was not an easy task as we all, all uh, already have done it and it was quite tough. So we thought to make this and make a storage marketplace uh, where user can just come and uh, down, uh, put their files and it get stored automatically on FBM uh, and user can retrieve his or her file uh, whenever he wants. So this is what basically e store does. Uh, this is how we started. Then we then we stored, uh, put many additional features on them. For example, the basic uh, store and limiter is a basic feature because anyone can store any amount of files in uh, uh, FBM. So anyone can store any amount of files through us also in it. But after that, we can realize that uh, there there is a problem of chains. Everyone may not have the Filecoin may not be in Filecoin network or may not own the Filecoin tokens. But even then what happens is that if someone wants to store his or her file in FVM and he does not own the FIL token, so what he thinks that oh, it is not possible, so he will not do it. And this way the market cap of uh, Filecoin network was uh, reducing. So what we did is that we introduced cross-chain payments. So what it does is that we take the uh, what is the price ratio going on in the market and we charge from users uh, the amount of money in different chains as well for example if anyone wants to uh, put file on fbm network and he does not have a file token he can pay us in any other for example in eth or in avax etc and we will take the payment appropriate payment for on that token and we would store his or her file on fbm network for that so what it does is that it gives variety of options to user to store their data on FPM without having the FIL tokens. But what we also did was that we uh, gave an additional offers for people who are using FIL tokens so as to incentivize people to be on network as well. So this was one of the important features that we include the cross chain tupper. Many chains have been integrated on our on our app. Then the second thing that we came to know was an storage uh, storage sectors that are in uh, sectors are the things which files are getting stored in FBM network. So what we came to know that if a sector is completely not completely filled, so there is a trash being filled in a sector and get it is getting published or it is getting seen. So what it does is that uh, comes too much too much space is getting wasted on FBM net uh, file coins network. So we thought to provide a solution for that. So what we did is that if a, if a user stores his files such that any amount of files such that full sector is filled. For example, sector A is of 512 MB or 32 GB or 64 GB. If a person puts all his files on a network such that the whole sector is getting filled, so we provide him a, a a discount or we can say that we provide him a cashback of around 0.1 to 0.2 FI. What happens to the Due to this is that user is also getting benefited in the form of token and miner is also getting uh, miners are also getting benefited because the whole sector is getting filled through it. Also, the there would be if people start using this feature due to discount, there would be less trash getting stored in Filecoin's storage blocks. So what it would be beneficial for everyone. So we have included that feature as well in our app. So the, the, this is our team. And let's see a preview of our app. So this is the landing page of our website as soon as you 
uh, comes he will see this page uh, now so as to make deals on our website one has to connect wallet so we will click on connect wallet option and my metamask will, will pop up after that i have to connect my metamask to this app as it uh, get connected now all the features are available so as to buy any deal one has to go on this deals page in this deals page many miners are being shown so we have given an option for users to sort between miners on basis of his or her choice for example there are three options cost size and time so user can sort between the miners on basis of cost or on basis of what how much money a miner asks per gb of data user stores in his sectors then there is a size option or a user can sort on the basis of size which is the maximum storage that a miner allows to store in his or her sector then there is a time option time is the amount of time after which a deal will get expired on the network and here user has to renew it so let's say i click on the time option after clicking the data will get sorted and the best deal will be shown on top so since the this he, this user, this miner is giving the most time to us let's say we click on the buy button after clicking on buy button uh, this model will get opened up showing all the stats so user can choose any file on the network let's say yeah. any file on his or his device device and store it on file coin let's say i have made a file for this purpose only called eth for all dot txt let's say i type anything on this one and let's say i put control s and we i have to store this on file coin network i will go on browse files then i will go for that file eth for all txt and we will, i would open it here after opening user can click on check price so as to check the price of uh, that miner asks or click on buy now that will directly buy the price so to save time let's say i click on buy now option after clicking on buy now my metamask will pop up uh, in the metamask as you can see i am currently on goerly testnet and the transaction is being made on fbm so what we did was to integrate so as to integrate cross chain we integrated a few chain for example uh, matic chain goerly chain and avax chain so user can pay in, on any of these chain the equivalent amount of money that he or she has to pay on a regular file coin network currently the ask is zero on test nets so the price is zero that the price that was being shown on background was also put by us only so as to check our filter feature currently the price is zero so it will cost us only the gas i would click confirm option and my uh, file would get uploaded and uh, the transaction will get confirmed so now so as uh, to buy a deal user has to click on this buy option after that he can choose any file that is on his or her device and upload it to the file coin network i will click on browse file option then i would choose any file let's say i choose any file let's say file and i would open it after opening that file user can click on check price option so as to check the price and or in buy now option so as to buy directly let's say so as to save time i click on buy now option after clicking on buy now option my metamask will pop up and i can as you can see i am currently on goerly network so as we have integrated cross chain payment so a user can pay any amount any in cha any chain that we have integrated for example avax or matic or goerly chain and user will have to pay the equivalent amount of money that he or she has to pay in filecoin network in those tokens as well so currently the price is zero and the price that was being shown in background was also put by us only so as to check our filter feature currently on hyperspace net the price is zero so only gas cost will be there i will click on confirm option after clicking on confirm it will show that files have been uploaded successfully now to check that whether our file have been uploaded or not i have to go to the profile option after clicking on profile option it will get opened and my file will be, will be sh getting shown here as you can see sterilization.pdf this file is being shown here and it takes some time for miner to approve the deal and it get published on filecoin network so as to show my download feature i have already uploaded some files now to download the file user just have to click on this download option and the file would get downloaded for example let's say i click on this download option and this file has came here this is a jpeg file that i uploaded there now this was also a file that i uploaded previously so and as soon as i click on download option that file comes and i can click so this shows uh, the feature basic features of putting a file on the filecoin network and retrieving it quite easily that we have integrated on our platform we have also included one additional feature of offers here 
so what we came as we came to know that the sectors is in the form of which data is being stored on file for a network we came to know that much of the sector get wasted if uh, it is not filled completely so if a sector gets not get filled completely there is too much trash as i talked on my intro video as well now what i have done is to uh, what we have done is to give some cashback to users that are uh, buying complete sectors if a user buys complete sector he would get 0.2 fil token from us and as a but what he has to do is he has to fill complete sector for example there is 512 mb sector there is 32 g in gb 32 gb and 64 gb sectors it is the 32 gb sector so user can buy any of this so, so let's say a user has i do not have full 512 mb data but so as to buy user just have to click on buy full sector option and the same model will get opened up and user can follow the same options and as soon as the transaction will get completed the 2.2 fil tokens would be credited to his or her account now how are these tokens being credited so what we have done is we have deployed a contract on a filecoin network and that contract detects that if the hope if whole of the sector is being filled and it is verified the user is directly paid in fil token from that contract so this was our project and as you can as you can see the, we currently we all are also aiming to do some new things on it for example now what we have done is that in in an offer step user just have to fill complete sector and it is not possible for user to have always have 32 gb or 64 gb amount of data to fill what we are thinking of implementing is that uh, in a way that it it shows a real time of how much sector of a miner is being filled and you different user can put their files on a particular miner sector for example this is 512 mb sector so there let's say there are 500 users who uh, tot let's say 100 users who totally made 512 mb of data so what we would do is we would store all that data off chain so the as soon as users are giving them uh, maybe in ipfs or uh, somewhere else and as soon as 512 mb data is being provided to us we will initiate the on-chain transaction so that whole sector also get filled and my filecoins network becomes uh, remains efficient as well and user can also store small files as well but uh, we would we, we that, that's what we are thinking for to do on future so currently this was also. thank you